What's up ladies and gentlemen, Paul Chopper here and today I decided to talk about our cowboy of Agora, Murdoch, who got some significant changes in patch 40 which did surprise me a bit, seeing him get a rework was very under the radar for sure. Do let me know what you think of the new Murdoch changes, I'm very curious in seeing what people actually think of them. But now I'm going to quickly go over the changes first. Static Trap has been completely removed while Move Alon and Buckshot have combined into a single ability called Buckshot. Murdoch still fires at 1000 units around him dealing damage and shredding basic armour. However now any enemy will be pushed back 700 units away from where Murdoch is. Then Murdoch got two completely new passives, first is Shots Fired. It grants Murdoch a basic attack with bonus trains and basic penetration every certain amount of seconds depending on the level, 4 seconds at level 4 just as an example. His next ability is Hot Pursuit. The passive grants additional movement speed when running at a visibly critically wounded enemy within a certain amount of units depending on the level. 3000 at level 1 is still very high and 6000 at level 4 is just insane. So how do I feel about the changes? Well it simplifies his kit a lot, it basically makes Murdoch all about the shooting and nothing else. And am I a fan of that? Well I'm more 50-50 on it. First I like the changes to his buckshot, merging two abilities together like this works well and makes sense. Still does a good burst damage and wave clear and it's more easier and responsive to push enemies back with it now. Removing static trap had a mixed response. On one side you had people who thought it was just an outdated ability with how fast the game was on monolith and the trap time so long it just wasn't worth it and never came in use. I was saying it made his kit more interesting to play, placing the trap down could make more opponents have to move around if you had placed it correctly like behind fog walls for example. Also your move along ability could push people inside the trap to root them, like a little combo but again this was on a very rare occasion. I'm in the boat of the first group. The trap wasn't very useful in such a high mobility game compared to Legacy, it needed a change. Maybe they should have kept the trap and changed it slightly but I fully understand why they made this change to Murdoch. Now let's get into the two new passives. Shot fired is Murdoch's poking tool, most range carries have one. Twin blast grenades, sparrows piercing arrows and revenant's ridiculous obliterate. So it makes sense for Murdoch to have some extra help to poke the offlaner more early game. The passive itself is just as basic as they come, longer range and basic penetration with a cooldown and once your cooldown is over your next shot even if you miss will take up that shot and again goes on cooldown. There isn't a visual sign when it's that short which I think there should be but the range I think is perfect. It's not too long or short and of course the range being 1700 units means it's hard to aim your shots so it actually still requires skill. So for early game it isn't that great at poking the offlaner even if you somehow hit every single one of those long range shots it's not going to do that much in my opinion especially compared to the other early game poking tools the other carries which I just stated have. It just keeps the offlaner more aware of it like Murdoch can actually poke you now from a comfortable range. When we get into more mid to late game this ability with high penetration and cooldown is actually really good. You can finish opponents off further away but it takes some time getting used to with knowing the range of the passive and then going back to the normal basic attack range after. But again the basic penetration actually really really helps meaning you don't have to really build any basic penetration on Murdoch compared to other carries which is a nice bonus. Talking about finished enemies off from range, his other passive hot pursuit helps with that too. Like I said it grants you movement speed when a critically weak enemy is visible to you within a certain amount of units. I honestly have no idea how to feel about this ability. On one hand I can see many when they will finally proc this passive and just keep chasing a weak hero only to get ganks but on the other side of things during a hectic team fight you can use it to quickly lock down a far away kill with his passive shots fired this becomes easier as well just as it rarely gets used. I find this passive rather pointless in my opinion. Half of the time you would want just to use your ultimate to snipe them and get the kill and the other times it will be during a big team fight so you can have its uses there but I just don't think it occurs that often. Of the 2-3 to three games I've played on Murdoch so far since the new changes I've rarely seen it actually proc and then found it actually useful for me to catch up and grab a kill. All in all his kit is now about having range and knocking down those kills but at a risk. If you go too far in you're going to get screwed pretty quickly. At the start of the video I said that made Murdoch all about the shooting which I want to touch in on more detail. It still takes skill. 
If you have great map position and hardly miss a shot, Murdoch is going to be great for you. He reminds me of Greystone in a way. Greystone is an entry level hero for new players to sort of learn and before getting into more complicated fighters. Murdoch feels like that role for carries. You just focus on the shooting and if you can nail that, the other carries may not sound as scary to play all of a sudden. I'm not saying with that comparison that Murdoch is now easy to play because that's not the case. It just purely focuses on the one thing that is the biggest thing for carries and that's your aim. So he's sort of entry level with how simple his kit is currently, but also skilled to get those shots off. When playing him a few times I did enjoy it, but felt very different and your old builds won't have to change much at all to adapt to his changes. But that about does it for this video, I thought it would be an interesting topic to discuss. I will be away next week so I may struggle uploading 3 videos a week for that week, but I will do my best. And like always guys, I'll see you next time.